Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of UC Event.net. Still jamming them so far, but you're still watching, and this is a good song. But let's be a little bit serious. Uh, this is the late review of UC116 slash What's Up with the Heavyweight Division. Sorry that, that I've been late, but uh, I've been to Berlin, Germany, you know. I, I you know, take photos of the wall. Was to, was to the TV tower, uh, but now I'm back, hey, and I got an infection in my body, so no more pumping iron for a while, but, uh, okay, Brock Lesnar, is he the king of the hill now, when he, when he beaten, you know, unbeaten Shane Carvin, uh, he's, he's admitted him, was that, you know, amazing, uh, would the fight been stopped, uh, what's up with Fedor now, when he lost to... Verdun, is Verdun the man? How would Verdun stack up against Brock Lesnar? Overeem. Alright. First round. Shane Coven, the better boxer. Brock Lesnar, the better wrestler. Everybody knows it. Is Shane Coven a good, good boxer? No. Is Brock Lesnar a good wrestler? Yes. Could Brock Lesnar take Shane Carmen down in the first round? No, he didn't. Uh, he tried to get too close to distance, but you know, Shane Carmen st stuffed him. Clock Brock, clocked Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar did some rookie mistakes. Let's do, let's back off. Straight back off, doing like they doing this. And he was clipped. Went down. Shane Carmen was doing the drum solo. Pop, pop, pop. Uh, the referee said, I'm stopping his fight. And Shane Carmen, like, he blew his gas tank. Does he have a bad gas tank? Mm, I don't know, but I believe that it was unexperienced, you know, all the hype, you know, everything. And he gassed, gassed himself out. Uh, did Brock Lesnar enough to defend himself? Because, you know, he was only laying there, doing nothing. Don't don't uh, didn't try to you know get get to guard push push his head down not anything of, of that he he didn't even even try to turn turn around stand up you know regular stuff basic stuff not nothing advanced basic stuff uh, was he hurt nah he wasn't hurt but was he defending himself we're, we're having a poll on our website should the fight would been stopped in the first round okay log on to usevent.net and vote. Vote! Yeah, just do it, okay? Raven raskar over In the end of the first round, I was saying to myself, okay, Shane Carvin's done, and Brock Lesnar is going to finish it in the second round. I didn't believe that it would be for submission, but I believe that he would finish him. The second round started, they were touching hands, Shane Carmen was like a sack of, sack of potatoes. He didn't do anything. Uh, Brock Lesnar time to take down. They, they were laying, laying in the half guard. Shane Carmen didn't do anything to defend it. it. It was like, jump out of my half guard. And Brock Lesnar did. You know, he connected his hands, went through the side choke, start, start turning. And you can just put your arm up and defend it. No. And their lack of grappling is, uh, that's amazing. Their lack of grappling skills. And uh, don't take this wrong. Brock Lesnar's submission was, was good. It was good. But the thing is, if you are a mixed martial artist, just because you're a heavyweight fighter, you should be able to submit, guys. It, it's not amazing. It's a lot of, you know, you know, Division One wrestlers, yada yada, who, who got great wrestling status. Who, ha who who doesn't have, you know, like one submission on, on, on the record. Good, 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 Brock Lesnar. But, uh, 
in, in other divisions, like Martin Kampman, he's a striker. He's a Muay Thai champion. He, he used to meet guys like this. Like this. And, and that's, that's good. Talking okay. about submissions. Chris Lieben versus Akiyama. Oh my lord. Uh, I, I predict that Akiyama would submit Chris Lieben. He was close in the beginning. But, you know, the last time you saw that Akiyama had problems with his, a little bit with, with, with his gas tank. But, you know, you know, he was very explosive, you know, used his judo. Uh, actually rocked. And Chris Lieben was close to finish him. But you know how Chris Lieben fights. You know, he always dig deeps. And, you know, this time he submitted Akiyama. Like, like 30 seconds left of the fight. And um, Chris Lieben, that was a good thing. And, you know, he had the armbar really tight. I believe that Akiyama was about this to tapping. So close. Uh, that was that was impressive. And, you know, Lieben is a slugger, but he, he, he won for submission. So, big up Lieben. Chris, what fight of the night, Lytle. Didn't cut the fight of the night. Didn't want submission of the night. Versus the Matt Demonte Brown. Uh, if you do a triangle choke and a straight armbar at the same time in an MMA fight against a professional MMA fighter, that's a, a that's a submission. And if you do a side choke, that's not amazing. That's good. So, but okay, it's Brock Lesnar, but mm, I ain't feeling it. I ain't feeling it. Um, Chris, Chris, Chris Lytle, I, I, I believe that he, he would win for TKO. Uh, he won, but for a submission. But I was surprised that Matthew Motor Brown was so good in the, in the, in the clinch, in the clinch in the beginning. And <laughs> Chris Lytle, he was, he was, he was, every punch was a, a home run try. And it, it was close sometimes in the connect, but you know, he's, I actually believe that he can be a little bit more technical and he can be like the, the top welterweight, man. Uh, good fight, entertaining fight, uh, Matt Brown. Mm, this time I'm going to give you a thumbs up because I, I didn't believe that he, he can do so well against um, Chris Lytle. But uh, Chris Lytle, Christoph Sassinski versus up. Stephen Bonner. Many people send me angry emails that I bet that Stephen Bonner... We win it, but we won it, and, and we won. We won it with a good knee. And then he TKO them. Uh, good, entertaining fight. Not so technically good, but Stephen Bonner. He always got a job in the UFC, so that's good. Kurt Pellegrino versus G -G Georgia Boy, and I predict that Georgia Boy will win it, and he did it. And uh, hey, Georgia Boy, you you're the, you're you're slick. I actually want to see him against Kenny Florin or someone. You know, like two top, top one of the top three guys, top five guys. Uh, no, n not them, but a top five dude. You know, I want to test how good Georgie Boy is, and uh, he can take a punch. So uh, that's good. What's up in the heavyweight division? Who is number one? Who is number uno? In my book. For now, Brock Lesnar is number one. Number two, bear with me now. The last time pro, Fedor Emelianenko. Yeah, he lost to Verdun, but you know, the, in the rematch, and it's gonna be a rematch, because uh, Verdun ain't gonna get his, his uh, title shot again and again and again. Uh, Fedor will beat. Verdun the second time. Number number three, I, I, I'm actually gonna we're gonna pick Verdun. Number four, Cain Velasquez, and uh, Cain Velasquez, he got a good chance to beat him. Brock Lesnar. Uh, number five, Overeem, the Beast from Holland. Number six, I actually, actually gonna take Shane Carvin. Seven. You know the Santos, eight. Nogueira. Nine, Frank Mayer. And number ten, Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Hey, leave a comment.
What's your top five, top five heavyweights? Let me know. Okay. One more thing. And it's all over!